I'm restoring a 1950s valve oscilloscope. It's made by GEC, its model number is M861B. This oscilloscope is descended from a version that was designed for diagnosing faults in clandestine radios behind enemy lines in World War II. The oscilloscope is about the size of a lunchbox at a time when test equipment used to be about the size of a small fridge. The oscilloscope has a number of knobs on it and these knobs are held in place with set screws and at some point someone's put in a set screw with the wrong thread and stripped the thread so I've needed to make a, a new set screw to replace the faulty one. I can't buy set screws of this size so I had to make one. To do that I've used a sliding attachment on my milling machine to make the screwdriver slot on the back of the set screw and this video shows how that's done. The milling machine has several heads and one of them is a slotting head and that's fitted to the milling machine that you see here. The tool holder is fitted with a hand ground tool bit. It cuts a one millimeter wide slot, the perfect size for a slot on the back of a set screw. I cut a one millimeter deep slot. I used a piece of steel from a junked printer. The steel that comes out of these printers is really good quality and it's easy to machine. Once the slot was cut, I turned the bar down and cut a thread in the usual way on my lathe. 